This is my Mi Bank uh, portable phone charger power bank, which in its stock form comes with uh, something like this for indicator LEDs to tell you the charge status. And uh, I'm always a fan of over engineering things. So mine now has a display that indicates charge status with an actual milliamp hour count, uh, voltage, temperature, and also a live readout of the current in or out. So if I charge this, this will display a negative current. This is a uh, current going into the battery. And on the left is a bar graph indicating the charge state, which is almost full, so it's completely full. And I get an arrow indication coming from the location of this uh, charge input port. And when I'm charging something from it, I get a positive current output. And it will switch to showing me USB current at 5 volts that is coming out of the the output socket. I have voltage and temperature readings on the top and my circuit also monitors this button uh, and allows me to switch to battery current if I want to. The function of the button on the original circuit is unchanged. My circuit is just monitoring it uh, and using that to switch it. And then I have an additional function to recalibrate my milliamp hour reading based on voltage if I hold down the button in case that ever gets out of sync. So the idea for this project came about when I found the uh, INA219 chip which is a voltage and current monitor and so I tried that one out and wrote some software to work with it and found when I opened my Mi Bank that there was a small current sense resistor in series with the battery that I could connect to. So I uh, wrote some firmware to get that running with one of these 32 by 64 OLED displays and wired it into the Mi Bank to see if I could monitor that without adding any additional current sense in series with the batteries and adding uh, extra power drain. So after several iterations of firmware I came up with a display layout that I liked with a large current reading in the center and then smaller readings for voltage, temperature, and the milliamp hour count as well as the bar graph and the arrow animations. So I laid this out on a very small board about uh, half inch by half inch and ordered this from OSH Park and assembled these with the INA219 power monitor a PIC16F1825 uh, voltage regulator and then all the support circuitry and connectors uh, the connector for the ribbon cable on that OLED display so I assembled this board and soldered up the OLED to it and loaded my firmware that I had been running on the test bed and uh, after some doing doing some tweaks I got this board all running well and it consumed about 8 milliamps active and less than 30 microamps in sleep mode which overall I think is a lower power consumption than the stock battery indication of the four LEDs because they consume fairly high current once everything was working I wired it into the Mi Bank with uh, lines to monitor the existing current sense resistor that I found as well as some pins on the existing microcontroller that indicate when the 5 volt output is on and when it's charging. And then it was time to cut an output in the uh, plastic top panel for the display which goes where the old uh, battery indicator LEDs were. This ended up working out pretty nicely with the size of that 32 by 64 OLED uh, with the existing space that I had in the, in the design with the four LEDs that I removed. I thought about doing something similar with the, the new power bank I have that is the slimmer design, 
but I haven't come up with a good way to fit any of the display pro, uh, the display types that I have into there. So I did the final wire in with a very small uh, 34 gauge magnet wire and mounted my board in there. There's actually plenty of space inside the existing power bank over on one side of the PCB. And with a lot of careful tweaking, I was able to get all the wires out of the way and snap the plastic cover back on with the display ending up in the right place in its little window. Here's the final unit all assembled, doing a final test. And I calibrated that USB current measurement. That's really an estimation. I was doing some multiplication because the actual measurement is on the battery current. So it does a power calculation based on battery voltage to estimate that USB output current. I carefully cut a window in that top panel where the uh, old LED holes were to fit that display. And then reassembled everything with a small plastic window to protect the display. And then the top panel is just stuck down with two-sided tape as it was in the original design. And there is the finished product. I originally started this uh, just thinking it would be sort of a novelty, but I've actually found this to be incredibly useful to find out things about the way uh, various products charge. For example, I discovered while using this that my phone will charge quite a bit faster with the screen turned off than when it's turned on, which I never would have known just plugging the phone into uh, the standard power bank. Having a live readout of the current has actually proven to be remarkably useful and I also um, feel better about guessing how much charge I have left when I actually see a milliamp hour count instead of just uh, four LEDs. Thanks for watching.